forward now from the occipital area that we've just texturized, we're going to be working slowly through to the front of the hairline. As we work through, we're going to be taking horizontal sections and then over directing the front back to maintain some length at the front and then we can play with that length later and detail it more around the front area. So initially, starting in the back, taking up our section, giving it a little bit of elevation. We're doing exactly the same as we did before underneath, starting with the blade in straight and slowly increasing angle. Like I said before, we don't want to go any further than halfway up the hair shaft because this will create too much unwanted volume at the root area. Always cut your section. Play with it, feel it, see how it feels to you. You're the judge. Again, I think I'm going to need a little bit more texture through this area. Go in, take up the hair very slowly. Haste makes waste in this respect completely. Finesse is what's key. Now that we have a lot of texture on that section, we're going to be doing another section right in front of that. Again, hair is completely saturated with blade glide to help the blade slide through the hair, plump the cuticle a little bit, and not have any drag through the hair so it's comfortable for me doing the haircut and also comfortable for the client to receive the haircut. Again, take out the texture. We're not looking to remove a bunch of length, but we're looking to create texture. Again, that's why I'm using the feather rather than a complete flat blade. If I tried this with a flat blade, it would be very difficult to control the amount of hair that I was removing. Now we're moving to another section right in front of the last one. If you notice, I'm not pulling the hair directly up like I was going to do a scissor cut. I'm coming it back towards myself more so that I can see where I'm putting the razor in. Again, very small strokes increasing the blade angle till it gets cutting the way you want it to. Continuing on through the section. Don't go any further than halfway up the hair shaft so we don't create any unwanted volume at the root. We're just looking for very textured, very pliable hair. We want this to be spiky and fun and good for the client to play with when he styles it. So again, we're going to keep working forward in our sections. Coming back, putting our blade in straight, slowly increasing angle to texture through the ends of the hair. As you do this, what you're going to find is that the hair starts to take its own path and gets its own motion. And that's what you're controlling here by adding the amount of texture. Continuing on to the side of the same section, going through, no further than halfway up the hair shaft, and just take the weight out of the ends. As we can see, his hair is starting to take on a life of its own, and it's getting very fun. Getting a new life. So again, side the section forward, going in, taking out the hair on the ends, adding lots of texture, not removing length. Same section, but further over. No more than halfway up the hair shaft. No unwanted volume, just very much wanted texture. As we proceed further forward, we're going to keep doing this, but now we're on a point where we're in front of the ear. I'm going to start to comb everything back from the front of the hairline so that we can maintain some length over his forehead. Just the same as before, running the razor through, getting that desired texture, not removing length. Same section, continuing on. Now, like I said previously, we're going to start to over-direct these sections back to maintain as much length as possible in the front.
no more than halfway down the hair shaft. That can create a problem for us if we get too much volume at the root. Continuing moving forward, a lot of this hair is going to be popping out as we cut it because it's not quite reaching the cutting line, but it's also getting textured. Like I said before, as we go through, we see that the hair is kind of taking on a life of its own and giving you some directional cues of where it wants to go. The hair growth patterns are really coming out within the haircut. Again, utilize these rather than trying to work against them. Now finally, we want the very last section, just texture. He has shorter hair at the front, so we're not really super worried about that because we can detail that at the front over the forehead later. Just keep combing everything back to maintain as much length as possible. And then see if the result we have is what we're looking for. I think I'm going to apply a little bit more blade glide because he's drying off a little bit. Again, blade glide is helping me cut through the hair with the razor and not snag the hair. Making it comfortable for myself and also for the client. Okay, like I said before, when we were doing the shear over comb, always step back and take a look at your work to see if what's happening is what you planned in the beginning when you were planning out your haircut. I like the way it's looking right now. I think I'll go through and detail the front next and add a bit more texture in here. And then maybe we're gonna dry him off a little bit and then finish up with our nape razor, clean up the nape. And then after it's dry, we may texture through once again and just detail the final part of the haircut. Okay, now we're moving on to the front of the haircut. What we're going to be doing to Mr. Sato's hair here is we're going to be adding some texture through his fringe area, or bangs as they like to say in the US. Um, but what I'm feeling is I want to make it a little bit asymmetrical too. So I'm going to be cutting a little more off this corner, making shorter texture and then getting longer as we go through. <coughs> so initially we're going to start with the texturizing. Again, going through with the blade, not too much air, just a little bit on the ends of the hair to create that softness. I'm not looking to remove all of his hair, I just want to be able to add a lot of texture to it. As you can see, we're removing hair, we still have a lot of long points as we work through, but I'm liking the result we're getting, so it's, it's lightening up that whole look. As we go through here, this is where I want to start adding my asymmetrical look. Instead of going in with the blade vertically now, I'm going to come in with the blade sideways. Again, rem removing much more hair. Have a look, see what the result is. See if I want to make that any bit shorter. I think I do a little bit. This is all detailing your haircut. You have to make it customized and individual. Something different that everyone else is doing. Now I'm happy with the angle we've got going. I think I'll go through and add a little bit more texture. Take out some of this length. detailing this corner area. Again, always step back, have a look at your work, see if you like it. I'm pretty
pretty happy with the result at this point. Again, this is still going through the wet aspect of the haircut. Once we finish drying it and styling it, we can go through and find out which areas need to be redetailed, re-looked at. But again, the wet part of the haircut I'm pretty satisfied with at the moment. So we'll dry this off a little bit and then we're going to go through and clean up with the Nate razor like I said and add any more detailing that we feel is necessary.